What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the Ring Spotlight. Now there's a few different variations of this Ring Spotlight. The reason I like this one so much is because it's battery powered and there's no wires involved. Now we're gonna be doing a review on this, everything from ease of use, installation, camera clarity, spotlight brightness, night vision, and all the features in between. So let's get right into it. So as you can see right here on the back, we have all the features from configurable motion detection, theft protection, motion activated LED spotlights, snapshot capture, video recording, Wi-Fi connected, infrared night vision, adjustable mounting bracket, weather resistant design, quick release rechargeable battery pack. So let's open this up and see what we have. A nice ring cam here. So I thought this was gonna be smaller. And let's see here. It's uh four and a half inches by two and a half inches. Not too big, but it's a little bit bulkier than I thought it was gonna be. little sticker, little instruction manual. Then we have the mounting bracket, lithium ion battery, and then all the mounting hardware that we're gonna need. All right, so the first thing I wanna see is a quick release charge, which it has this little button back here. So we're gonna press that. So we have two battery compartments and only one battery. I'm wondering if this is an upgrade or it's missing a battery. We'll find out. Let's just try it out here. So this battery just slides in just like that and it's in. So we can put that on. You see it turning on already. We're gonna take that out for now because we're not ready to set up. It has one little push button here and it slides right, right out. It also comes with a little charger, which is just like a cell phone charger. USB right into this little port right here. So I'm curious to see the battery life on this. I'm gonna close this back up. It doesn't really seem weatherproof. When I press this little button back here, it kind of just comes out. It feels kind of cheap. It does have a, a rubber seal right here, a little rubber gasket. So it also has another little rubber piece right on top here. So I guess it, it will weather seal this. Just the snapping in the place seems, just feels a little cheap, unless I'm not doing it right. There it is. Plus you probably put this under your roof line. So if you get any rain or anything, it'll just go right off. You're not gonna put it right in the elements, hopefully. So I'm curious to see how bright these LEDs are because there are other spotlight cameras that are battery operated that are a little bit bigger than this. There's a, a few of them that I've seen. They look like a, a rear view mirror. It's a long, um, it has two panels on either side of LEDs and then it has a camera in the middle. This one just has small LEDs on both sides. All right, so I guess there's nothing left to do but to install it. So I got the battery pack charged overnight. Now it's time to set up the camera. So we're gonna throw the battery in here and doing a little research on this double battery compartment. I have the original battery here and you can buy a separate battery, a backup battery that works alongside this battery here. It doesn't run concurrent with this battery. It doesn't give it any more power. What it does is 
if your first source of power, your first battery goes out, goes dead, the backup battery picks up the slack and you have no, uh, you have no blackouts. It's just gonna pick up where you left off. You take out your original battery and you just charge it while this one's running. Another cool feature accessory to this is a solar panel. So you have a solar panel connected to a battery pack. It's all one unit and that's your main source of power. And for any reason, if that solar panel runs out of juice, well, your backup battery will pick that back up. All right, so I already got that app set up here. It's pretty straightforward, but I haven't set the camera up yet. If you're new to Ring like I am, you're gonna have to just set up some basic information, uh, verify your email address, things like that, verify your phone number also, but it's pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and set up a new ring device. And we're gonna go with um, security cams. Allow ring to take pictures and record, okay. Okay, so this is gonna be simple, hopefully. So we have a barcode that the camera came with. So we're gonna take a picture of that barcode Gives me two options here. Give spotlight a name. Okay, it's gonna be in the front. Insert battery, wait 30 seconds for spotlight cam to power on. Okay, got that. Continue. Press a button on the top of the spotlight cam. Continue. Wi-Fi setup. The flashing light on the bottom means the camera is getting ready to connect. All right. Tap connect on the following screen. So you're gonna set up to your Wi-Fi. Your spotlight cam is now set up and ready to protect you. With rain, you're always home. Your spotlight cam is updating. This may take up to 15 minutes. Please wait until the bottom light on your camera stops flashing before using the spotlight cam. I gotta figure out a good place to mount this. I'm thinking right in that nook there, maybe up there. All right, so I have to set up the mounting bracket to the camera. So there's a, a little key here. I was trying to find it, couldn't figure it out. Turns out this little Phillips that the ring comes with pulls out, turns around, and now it becomes the key to loosen this. So we gotta loosen this up. Throw that right in there. Now we're gonna tighten that. So I'm trying to find a good spot to mount this camera. It's really hard to find a good angle. I really don't have a lot of places to mount it. I don't want it to stick out. I kind of want it hiding out a little bit. So the house is brick, so I'm very limited to where I can mount the camera unless I want to drill some holes into the brick, which I don't want to do. So right here, I'm at the highest point of the roof where I thought it'd be the best place for it, but it's not practical, especially since it's battery operated. I'm going to have to be up there every time the battery needs to be charged. So I went ahead and mounted it where I originally planned to mount it. Not the best location for it. I really don't like how it looks there, but that's going to be the best angle I was able to get with it. All right, so let's test this angle. Let's see how it looks. So right here, I'm at the farthest point by the car, walking up to the house. Looking up at the camera here. All right, so we're gonna turn the light on here. So let's light on. Front light active for 30 seconds. All right, we can go to mode setting. Uh, default, we're gonna leave it on default. Motion snooze, you can snooze motion up to four hours. Device setting. Okay, you can turn on and off the light motion. Uh, video setting, 
increases the dynamic range of the video, which can improve image clarity in daytime. Enabling option may decrease battery life. Live view access live video from your ring device at any time. Enabling this device option decreases battery life. Tap camera preview for live. Enable to see live view rather than recent events when you tap cinema preview up front. Video recording length. Set how long to record during motion events you don't want to answer. So we're going to go to 60 seconds. Are you sure this feature shortens battery life? Consider adding ring solar to help the front stay charged. General settings, uh, location, light group. You can group this to a light if you have other uh, motion sensors or floodlights. Link chimes. Hear notifications anywhere in your home. Customize your chime tone. A lot of upselling here. Snapshot capture. See what happens between events. Okay, we're gonna do that. Siren. The siren automatically shut after 30 seconds or you can turn it off manually. That's a siren there. Turn that off. What did I see? You can also set all right, so this is what I was looking for, motion settings. You can change your motion settings, edit motion zone, if you only want motion up to a certain point. This is real good if you live near a busy street and uh, you don't want the motion sensor going off every time a car goes by. Look at this, very cool. So I want motion going off everywhere, but look, if I had, if I just wanted this part was a busy street up here, and I know you can't see where I'm pointing, but if it's a busy street up top, you can move motion this way, but I wanna go all the way up right there. Could even move it side to side. So let's see how bright this spotlight is. So here it is at night, pitch black. So here we go, off, on. Pretty bright for a battery operated spotlight. Off, on. Pretty bright LEDs. Not sure if I like where I mounted it, but that's another story. Off, on. So let's take a look at it from the driveway. It illuminates pretty good, especially when you're pulling into the driveway and you have no lights on. It gives you a sense of security since you're able to see everything that's going on. Before installing the spotlight camera, it was so dark, somebody can be standing five feet in front of you and you wouldn't be able to see them. So it's about a week later and I really didn't like the angle I was getting from the camera. If something were to go down, all I'm gonna be able to see is the top of someone's head. So I wanna move the camera and get a better angle. So I'm gonna take it off and remount it. So I was really limited to where I can mount this camera because of the way the mounting is set up. I wanted to mount this by the garage door, but thought it wasn't possible because the way the mounting bracket was, I wouldn't be able to get a good angle. But it turns out this mounting bracket can be removed and rotated. So what we're gonna do here is take off this rubber weather seal. It's really easy. Then we're gonna remove the battery latch by pressing the battery latch button. Last, we're gonna press this release button up top. We're gonna slide the mounting bracket down and it's that easy. Now we're gonna flip the bracket over, reinsert it, and button everything back up the way we took it off. Now I can move the camera at a different angle and have more options to where I can mount it. So I decided to put it right above the garage door and this gives me an overall better angle on someone's face walking up to the house. The spotlight actually even looks brighter at night. So there we are at night. On. Looks pretty good, looks pretty bright. I like the way it illuminates a lot better than when it was in that little nook on top. Just check out the difference in the angle here. So this is me walking up to the house. That night vision is a little muddy as far as clarity, but that motion sensor catches it. So it's not really a big deal. 
So I'm gonna leave a link in the description for this camera so you can check it out yourself on sale right now from Amazon. Busted. So this is me walking up to the house and you can see my face a lot better. It's really bright here. And I'd like to mention the only light that's on is the ring spotlight. No other light is on. Look at how bright that is. Another thing I'd like to point out is as I'm editing this video, it's three weeks from the time I set up the camera and I have 27% battery life. So that's an average of 25% battery life a week. So the battery is gonna last you about one month before you need a recharge, which is not bad, especially thinking of the power that you're using for the spotlight. So there it is, the Ring Spotlight Cam battery. Overall, it's a pretty good camera, especially since there's no wires involved. Pretty easy to set up. I'll leave a link in the description for the camera if you wanna check it out yourself. On sale right now from Amazon. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. Check you on the next one.